The St. John's Knights and Notre Dame Royals were the last two teams standing in this year's IIAAG Girls High School Volleyball season. ND advanced to the championship game after dethroning the Academy Cougars. The Knights made their way to the UOG Cowboy Fieldhouse by beating a shorthanded St. Paul squad in the semis. League MVP and KUAM Game Changer athlete Carly Kanata took care of business when it was time to close the deal. Kanata put down the game-winning point to help bring the title back to ND. The Royals defeated the Knights in four sets, 27-25, 23-25, 25-14, 25-21. I don't know, uh, mixed emotions. Um, I'm just very proud of my team for pulling it off. And we, ca we came a long way since the very start and we just earned it. We had to work hard and it was very competitive. I feel so happy that I'm here because my team and I, we just worked so hard to get here. And I'm just so happy that all that hard work that we and our coaches put in, just it paid off. Keeping with volleyball, the St. Paul Warriors made their trip to Hong Kong well worth their while. After winning the championship trophy in the Asian Christian School Conference Volleyball Tournament, St. Paul made prior commitment to attend the tournament and weren't able to be in full force during their semifinal matchup against the St. John's Knights. St. Paul defeated four-time defending champions Morrison Academy Mustangs out of Taiwan in three straight sets for the championship title. Naya Seguenza was selected as the MVP of the tournament. Chloe Miranda, Naya Seguenza, and Tiffany Lopez was also selected for the all-tournament team. FD's big 60-6 win over the JFK Islanders in the semifinals moves them right into prime position to cap off another perfect IFL season. The Friars will be looking to run the table when they face the George Washington Geckos in this year's championship game. FD broke the Geckos' most consecutive wins in high school football history two weeks ago behind their 32-0 shutout win over G-Dub to set the record at 27 straight. GW is in the championship game after avenging an early season loss to the Teason High Titans. GW got the win 27-12 in the rematch against the Titans to get a crack at putting a blemish on the Friars' perfect record in the season finale. Bears picking up the win over Cam Newton and the Panthers today 17-3. It's not too often a quarterback only completes four passes in the game and still get the W. Mitchell Trubisky, 4-7 for 107 yards. That Chicago D, though, picking off Cam Newton twice, pick six, a forced fumble, and got in for five sacks for a total loss of 26 yards. Newton, 211 yards passing, and led Carolina in rushing again with 50 yards, which is pretty terrible. Bears are now 3-4 and four on the season.